welcome to this lesson in today's lesson we shall consider the construction of a true shape and development of a truncated cylinder from the given figure in this given figure the plan is given and the radius of the cylinder is 21 millimeter the diameter is 42 millimeter so we're going to draw the radius of the circle so now we've gotten it from the given uh, information in the diagram the perpendicular height is 50 millimeters the distance from the truncated point is 20 millimeter to the base and the angle at which it is truncated is 45 degrees so we'll do that at this point so mark the 20 millimeter and this is the 45 degrees so now we've gotten the required point so the next thing is to divide the circle that's the base into 12 equal parts from this we'll be able to get the required the development so now we'll radiate the lines from the plan to the front elevation and after doing that this will enable us to, to bring out the actual development of the cylinder so now the next thing is to bring out the lines the horizontal lines this way so we we'll radiate it this way project it and extend it till we get the suitable distance The next part is to transfer the division of the circle to the horizontal line. So the division of each part of the circle, which is equal, will transfer the length to the horizontal line. So that we can be able to bring out the 12 divisions. Now mark this point. Remember, we we'll take note of this point which is truncated on the top of the cylinder which is also going to come out the distance between two and three that's where this will come out so when we are bringing it out on the development we're going to take note of the point so now after getting it we're going to connect the curves then also the straight point we're going to connect them till we get the required development of the cylinder the truncated cylinder so after this we move to the next aspect which is to bring out the true shape of the area that was truncated so before we move on to the true shape we have to bring out the point how it is done the view on the plan so that it enables to bring out the required view of the true shape so now we mark out the point where it's truncated then we hatch we produce hash lines so after producing this hash line this will enable us to indicate that that's the point where it is uh, cut so from this central line we produce the midpoint which is going to be the reference point for our true shape so we'll also project the lines that is coming from the front elevation this way so we get the vertical distance from the center point of our plan to the point seven and five eight and four nine and three up to the area where we are constructing the true shape which will give us the actual or the true length or the true view of the shape so we'll do it this way after transferring this length we connect the course then it will give us the required view of our true shape and when we are done with this we also 
produce the hatch line in this manner. So now we're done with the true shape and the development. So everything that we need from the question has been brought out. So and this question was adapted from a textbook from the Institute of Engineering from Tribovan University in Nepal. So Ensure to subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you.